Hogsmeade, here I come. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behaviour. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Must we? It seems a lot of trouble to go to for a creature we've already rescued. We should see this through. Let me find out where she is. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. But surely those are curdle. What are you up to now? Revelio.
frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, Father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh no, a person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> She claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Revelio.
How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Revelio. Call upon Sir Cadogan. Do not judge a steed by its size. Accio. Size is not. Revelio. 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 Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient mm -hmm. travel was mm -hmm. before I invented <coughs> flu powder. <coughs> Traits in the castle don't always have something interesting to say. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Polyjuice person wants keeping away from today's young. Come on in and have a look around. Uh, no touching if you have sticky fingers. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. by whenever you're about. I've heard that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Accio! Levioso! Defender! Defaulter! 
Confringo! Bombarda!